Welcome to my channel. I'm going to share with you my NAS100 trading strategy and how I trade this strategy and have been for quite some time very successfully. So do make sure you watch this video to the end because within this video, there are quite a few things that I think you're going to find very interesting. But before we get on to it, do me a favor, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. And after the video, I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you guys may have in the comments below. But before we get started, a quick disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. This is certainly not financial advice. Trading is extremely risky. You can and likely will lose all of your capital. This is simply for educational and entertainment purposes only. And guys, my results are certainly not typical. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into it. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so let's go over the rules for the NAS100 trading system. I'm going to walk you guys through this in detail, so please bear with me. And again, make sure you keep watching because I think you're going to find this quite interesting. Okay, so let's go over to the, to the rules here. Number one, uh, from the current day, draw a line at the previous 9.30 a.m. Eastern um, uh, open here. So let's go over to the charts and take a look here. So here we are. Okay, this is today. All right, all we're doing is drawing a vertical line. I'll go ahead and move it right here at 9.30 a.m. Eastern for today. We're putting one at the previous day right here and then also at the day before that day. So there are two of them. All right, that's what you're doing there. The second rule, draw another vertical line going two days back. We just did that already. Um, third, guys, the trading session is 2.5 hours long. I designed it that way because I want to trade how I want to retire. I don't want to be watching charts all day. So I'm simply looking at the charts in the morning, analyzing the markets, and then I'm looking to see if there's a setup. So I'm trading specifically during this time period here. We can mark it off right here up until noon Eastern. And again, you may have to check your time zone to see what times these are. So this is our trading session right here. I'll circle it. If nothing is happening, inside of that specific session, then I'm just not taking the trade. I don't care what the market does outside of that session. Okay. Let's remove that and come back over to our rules here. All right. Um, number four, mark up obvious levels. Okay. During or from the previous two days, I'm going to go and draw those levels here for you guys and explain them to you. Okay. They're quite obvious. They're easy to spot. And there could be some subtle different differences in yours and mine, and that's okay. Um, so let's go ahead and go back to the charts here now. All right. So um, I will remove this one. I'll remove that and I'll remove that and I'll remove this and I'll explain them. All right. So we have our vertical lines thrown up. Now we're going to mark up our um, our obvious highs and lows. So I grab my tool here. We'll do horizontal ray. I can see there's one about here. There is another one right about here. And then there was one I had left in here um, or from earlier today. Now that our lines are in, we can then move on to the next step. And we could have one here. I don't really like this one. I kind of had it here this morning, but the reason being I didn't like it because if you look left here, guys, there's just really nothing supporting it. We're kind of in this upward trend. So I didn't really want, I didn't really pay much attention to that level this morning during my trading session. Okay, let's come back over to the uh, next rule. All right, five, entries are subjective and they're based on a power bar, okay? Generally, this is a strong five minute candle that has a large body. Okay, it can either be one or it can be two consecutive candles. Now, this is again subjective to what you consider a power bar and what I consider a power bar. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at today's setup um, so that I can share that I can show that to you. Let's just remove some of this stuff here because I don't need any of this uh, right now. Okay, and we will bar replay this real quick from this morning. So here we are this morning near the 930 open as price moves forward. I'm replaying this here for you. We're coming into the 930 open. I created a video in my telegram group and I said, I, this is what I think is going to happen. I think we're going to get a power bar push up and I may ignore that trade because in my back testing, when we get what I call a launch trade, all right, which this is right here, this is what I call a launch trade. Um, they generally don't work out, but I'm always in favor of buying. I do not, I do not like selling um, on the NAS 100. I will do it, but I, I, I prefer buying to be quite honest with you. So um, come back to the document. I am now discussing one of my setups, which is called the launch trade. And I'll share with you some of my uh, back testing data and I'll share with you more examples of what those look like. 
Um, so here we are. We come, we're coming into the open, and then bang, we get the launch trade. There it is. We get the launch. I'm skeptical of taking this at the open. I'm being quite honest with you, but I took it this morning anyway, and we simply uh, enter here. Um, now, let's come back over to our rules. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Larger bodies. Stops are generally where the push came from. Where did it originate from? That's typically where I'm placing my stop loss. So if we come back over here to this, well, this push happened from right here. It started down here. So that's where I'm going to put my stop. We'll zoom in a bit more on the chart and we can just kind of drag it down here. You could pull this down to catch this wick over to the left here. Um, really, it's up to you. So I put mine right about here and then I'm targeting 1.5 R. Okay, so let me explain to you what happened here. As this trade progressed, I, um, I felt like things were going well. Um, I was in profit up here. Um, we just skipped two bars there by accident. Uh, what happened was Pal was speaking this morning. I decided that I wasn't going to keep the risk on the table. So I actually took my profit early and it was somewhere around up here when the market pushed up. I figured why risk it? I'm in profit, pal could tank this market, so I'm not going to take my chances there. However, sticking to the rules, this trade does play out. As you can see, this plays forward, our stops never hit and our TP is hit. And then we go on into um, the current live uh, live price action here. So we, let's go ahead and get, back, get there. Uh, there we are. Okay, so simple and straightforward, right? So that is my first example of what I consider a launch trade, okay? Okay, so the next trade setup I have for you is what I call the break and recess trade. Not my favorite, but they do work and you need to be able to identify when we're in that type of setup. So let me go ahead and explain it. Here I am on my screen. I've circled one trade that I've taken uh, about a week and a half ago or roughly a week ago. And um, I have a little note here. You can read it for yourself there on the screen and then I'm gonna share with you the setup. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna head back to the charts now, and we're gonna go back to June 15th so I can kind of replay this for you and show you exactly what that looks like, looks like. So here we are on that day that I took the trade. Let's go back to the replay bar and let's go ahead and get into this here and explain it. All right, so what makes a trade a break and retest trade? Well, this is pretty straightforward. Um, we have our lines drawn in. I had a high here. I found the high of the day. Um, if I extend this to the left, to the previous day right here, we're just like that. And then I had a couple other areas marked up. Um, if I can, you know, I can put them back in here. I had one here. Um, you could possibly have one right here too, but I don't think it's necessary. There's really nothing to the left to support that level there. So I wouldn't even pay attention to it. Um, okay. So these levels, Again, wouldn't have anything drawn there because I want the extreme high. Uh, but again, I would be I would be watching those levels and aware of them. So let's play it forward. Um, first, I almost forgot. Let me explain to you what constitutes this as a break and retest trade. All right. So when you draw your levels here, okay. What makes this a break and retest trade if we are going up in the market is there's nothing above our high right here for the day. Do you see that? There's no price action above that high, nor is there any price action above that for the previous day. So for me, that automatically tells me if the price pushes up and a five minute candle closes above this level, okay, and then it, then it retests, I'm not looking for a short, I'm looking for longs here because I want, I'm looking for a break and retest setup. The price, or I'm sorry, the five minute bar has to close above this level. We can retest, so we go up like this, we can retest deep and then push back up. And I want to see this high taken out on a strong power bar push. That's important. Not a little tiny itty bitty little candle, a strong power bar push. Now, the other thing I like about a break and retest setup is that it has to happen quick like it does here. And I'll share this with you. Let me draw this line back so you can see it. We'll put it back at 930 and we will begin the, um, there we go, 930. And we'll begin playing this forward. So. As we're coming into the open, uh, price is right there. There we go. And we're we're just kind of toying around. We got to push up. No levels are hit. So I'm just sitting in the market waiting. I am aware of if we get up here and we wick this level and we get a strong bar down, a gigantic bar down, then I would be looking to take that as a short. Okay. However, again, let me reiterate. 
if the if the five minute candle closes above this line, I'm no longer looking for a short. I'm looking for that break up, retest, and go. Okay. Um, so let me get rid of this here and share with you that. So here we go. The next candle over, and we're coming up. All right. Didn't jump there because this is not a power bar down. For me to have short it right there in that candle, this thing would have had to, ha had to have had to slam down. All right. So here we go. We're going. We're going up, and here we are in this candle. Immediately right here, I'm, I'm saying to myself, okay, I'm not looking for a short because you, because the five-minute candle bar closed above this level. I am looking for a break and retest now, but it has to happen quickly. If I don't get a quick retest followed by a strong power bar up, I'm not taking it. So we go over like this, all right? We're here, we're coming down, we're retesting, all right? We're over here, okay. I consider this a power push above this level, and I took this trade. Now, I remember this specifically. It was a real heart stopper because we almost got stopped out uh, right about there. So over right here, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to lose this trade when it stopped out, and we get really close to it, and you can see that price eventually does go to my 1.5R up thereabouts. Let's speed it up here so you can see it. And here we are. And we eventually get it right there and then some. So there you have it. This is a break and retest trade. Guys, if this price, if price came up or came up like this and it kind of just flopped around a bit and came down and then pushed up, I wouldn't take it because it didn't happen immediately. In my back test, I found that these trades for me have a higher probability of working out if it happens in the first four to six candles. Okay, so now for the sweep or near sweep trades. These, I love these trades because they're just easier to spot. What more can I say? They're just kind of just jump out at you on the charts when you draw the levels and when price bounces off of these levels. So let's head over to the trading chart here in trading view. Um, okay, this was our previous setup. Let's go back here and there we are. So, okay. Here we are. Let me go ahead and bar replay this for you so you can see it. We'll go right to here. And there we are. Let me zoom out a bit so you can see this trade here. Okay, 9.30 a.m. areas are marked up. We are currently sitting right here at the open. I have my um, previous day uh, open marked off and all the way over here marked off as well. Or at least it should be. It might have gotten deleted here. Uh, let's put it back in there. Sometimes these things get deleted when I'm flipping around. All right, so here we go. I have my levels. We can drag this down. I am looking back here. Um, level here. Let's see. I like this level right there. And then I like this level right here. I, I put this level there because I feel like and, and you can see I'm kind of I'm kind of what, what I do guys is I go back I'll forget these trades because you can get so much data in trading view I'll go back and I'll simulate this over and over so I'm training my brain what to look for and you can see like I even I don't remember what level I had drawn on this trade even even just a week ago so I'm redrawing them here um, so down here you can see that we have a level down here I'd probably move this down a bit to get this low over here I'm looking back here might even drop that down a little further just i would just be aware of that but with my levels more so in this area right about here okay um i'm not marking this off as a level just so you know that's just there's nothing to the left to support that um yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't draw that as a level right there okay so let's go forward now let's check it out um so this is a sweep trade let me show show you how this works all right, so here we are right at the open. Immediately, price is pushing up. There's no trade because we didn't come close enough to this bottom down here. All right, there's we didn't sweep this level. So here we go. We are coming up, I believe, here. Up, up. Okay, big power push. I was ready for a bounce off of this level, but since we had this power push here, I was thinking, okay, let's go a little higher and then let's get our power push down. So here we go up one candle all right not in the market there that is a little dinky candle i wouldn't touch that all right 
Same thing here, just waiting. I'm start. I remember this trade. I was starting to think these wicks right here. I was really liking this wick, and I said this would be beautiful. We had a power push down. So here we go. Um, no power push there. Still waiting in the market. Over. All right, nothing, guys. Don't get caught in these kind of setups right here, where these have these little candle bar with these little bodies right here. Do you see them? Let me just zoom in right here. These are tiny little bodies right here. Okay. You want to power push down. Here we go. Next candle over. I'm not in it yet. You see how it's coming back up? All right. Bang. Power push. Look at that. You'll know it's a power push when you see it. You'll be able to see that. That's when I'm in. Where's my stop? Well, where did it come from? It came from here. Okay. Yes, you could have put your stop up here in this area. But in my eyes, it came from right here. So I am going like that. And then I'm going 1.5 R. Now, 1.5 is what I target. It's really up to you what you target. You can try two. You can try 2.5. Doesn't matter. You're probably going to get less. You know, um, your your win rate is obviously probably going to be a bit lower. Um, but who knows? All right. So let's just let this play out. Then we'll see what happens. And this is pretty straightforward. I love those days. Easy, easy peasy. That is our sweep or near sweep. Okay, let's talk about the launch trade. These trades, in my personal opinion, generally do not have a high probability of winning. It's about 50-50, depending on where you get to entry. But I'm going to share this example here with you on my screen. So let's head over, let's head over to this. Um, I was having a great month this month, so I did take this, this, uh, take this trade this morning. So let me share with you here. We have our 9.30 a.m. marked off here. This morning, we have our previous 9.30 here. I have my levels as such. So you can see at a level up here, I had a mid-range level that I really wasn't paying too much attention to, wasn't really too concerned about this. Um, that was fine. And then I had a level here at the bottom. So for a launch trade, typically what that means is price just launches right at the open. So let's just bar replay it so you can see. All right. And I did a, um, a video about this in my Telegram group earlier, and it did just what I had uh, thought it was going to do. So as we go over towards the open, I said, you know what? If we get to this level and launch up, that's a launch trade. I may or may not take that. In this case today, I did. So what happened was price skimmed there, and this happened. Boom, launch trade. So what this means is price launches off of the lows or sweeps near the lows. However... Um, what I like to see is I like to see some price supporting it to the left, which, which is why I took it today. If this low wasn't here, if price just pushed down and made a low right near the open, then launched, I would have totally ignored that particular setup. But in this particular instance, because we had that to the left supporting it, I did take this trade here. Um, I got in now. I did take an early exit. My stop was just below the uh, low there, and I had a target of 1.5. Um, so what happened was I exited early because Powell was speaking. I took my profit right about here when we were up and then I got out of the trade, but it never hit our stop and ended up working out here. So that is an example of a launch trade. Let me share with you one more example. We'll head back over to our sheet here and we'll see if we have a launch. Um, here is another launch trade example where I actually uh, took a small loss. So let's go ahead and load this up here. And this is, again, why I don't like them. I think it was previous day. So we can actually skip this part right here. And we can go right into the um, uh, charts here. So let's take a look here. All right. So we were over here. Yes. Here we are. Okay. This is where you have to be careful. I did deem this trade as a launch because if we take the bar replay tool, let me reset it here for you real quick. And then we'll come back to this particular day. Um, if we bar replay this, this is where you have to be careful with a launch trade. Okay, why I didn't like this setup or wasn't too keen on it, I had a level down here and I had the level right about here, right about there. I knew as we were approaching the open, we were in this range. Price was just bouncing around in this range. And what I was looking for is I wanted price to push down to this level, scoop it up, and I wanted to buy. Um, it it happened, but it didn't happen exactly how I wanted it to happen. So this is what you do have to be careful of. Let's bar replay it just a bit here. So you can see at the open, we are shooting down. 
a bit initially and then we push right up instantly now when i saw this wick right here i was considering these levels so this was a mistake on my part when i should have been waiting for a further push down and then a push up so let's see what happens we go up here i think things are okay and then i'm like you know what i'm not sure this is going to work out but let's take a look here and see what happens we go through price starts rejecting off this level here and then we come down and if we got in right here we would have lost that trade ah uh, okay let's show you one more example of a launch trade so you can see exactly what they look like. Let me see if I can find a good one here for you that is a good example because these trades can be um, a bit tricky. Um, let's find a launch trade. Where are, we, where are we? Okay, let's just take it one look at one that loses here. All right, so here it is. Here is a launch trade and why I typically don't like selling the NAS. You can see here, price right at the open. There's a high here. Now, the reason why I have this marked off in my back testing sheet as purple, as you can see here, we'll come back over to it. I have it listed as purple. Uh, the reason for that is because when we have a set of, oops, let me go back to the, um, the correct one here for you. And there it is. There we go. So the reason I had this marked off, because when we create a high like this, and there's nothing to the left to support it on the current day, I don't like taking that launch trade. So we wick out right here. Price sells off immediately right after 9.30 open, and then you get caught in a launch trade going the wrong way. When you should have just been patient and have waited, price sweeps down below. You come back up. Here is a nice candle bar, a pow what I call a power bar, where your entry should have been in this trade then should have been a win. So with that said, launch trades are tricky. I will take them if there's supporting price action to the left. And generally, if I'm going long, I do not like taking these when we're shorting. It's really subjective to how I'm feeling. Um, and of course, if I've been winning a lot uh, recently in the market, whether or not I take these trades. So just wanted to share this one with you guys here. Okay, now I have something very special for you. I'm gonna share with you my personal trading journal. And in this journal, I go back and I back test, I re-simulate things. And it's almost like I'm training my brain what to look for in the market at the open. Because I gotta tell you, when I go back and back test over six months, I don't remember where I drew my levels. I don't remember what happened in the market. So it's almost like it's new every single time to me. So again, that's the importance of back testing and just doing things over and over and over again because you start training your brain what these setups look like and what to look for in the market. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoy this piece. I don't normally share this with the public, um, but this is my personal trading journal. I even record videos in this little segment here where I actually can, where I can actually talk to myself to kind of see how I was feeling emotionally, why I took that trade, but um, we'll pick out some really bad setups here to share with you guys how um, I correct myself and what they might look like. Okay, so here on the screen, you're taking a look at my personal trading journal and what I use to go back and look at all the trades I've taken, trades I've simulated to make myself a better trader. I look at um, you know what price action is doing, the time of day, the setups, and I look at specific um, specific little nuances that may make or break my trade. So let's go ahead and take a look at a couple here. So let's come down here today and let's go take a look at a couple of trades. So this was a sweep trade um, right here uh, on the 16th and I'll just go ahead, or I'm sorry, on the 13th and I'll just briefly highlight this yellow so you can see it and then we'll head into it. Um, so this is a trade that I believe, uh, let's take a look here. I have actual notes on it so you can just see here what happened. Um, this would have been considered a break and retest if price broke above. It didn't. So it looks like at the open here, all right, this high right here. So what happened here was um, there is nothing to the left right here um, immediate supporting this. So what we could have looked for uh, in this particular trade was a, a long. I tend to favor longs on the NAS 100 and not necessarily shorts. 
Um, however, at the same time, this was tricky because you could have been caught short right here if you were trading off of this level up here. Now, I like this. Do you see this wick down here on uh, during pre-market? This is what really gives this trade away to me when I go back and I reassess and reanalyze this particular trade here because had I taken into consideration this wick right here, I would have ignored anything happening here at the open and waited for the sweep at the lower levels and then gotten in on a power push, perhaps even after the second bar here or the second blue bar for a nice long trade. So that's one example. Let's head back over to my um, trading journal again and let's take a look at um, one where we actually lose here. There is one on, um, let's see, 524 break and retest established. We lose this one. Let's take a look at this one here. All right. Um, okay, so on this particular trade, this was on 524. Let's go back and double check here, 524, and we'll head over to the charts. And we'll just quickly come back to 524 um, because I do want to share some of these trades here with you guys. Uh, so bear with me here, 524. There we are. So in this particular instance, you have to look at where price is opening for the current day so yes this was a valid break and retest trade so more than likely you would have lost this however if you look at where we are at the open okay a lot of times i'll check cnbc i'll take a look at the nas the nasdaq if we're down a tremendous amount at the open to me it doesn't make sense to go ahead and short into that market if we're already down there's going to be some kind of retrace so that's exactly what happened here uh, yesterday's close was somewhere way up here. The open was down here. The NAS was already down tremendously at the open, but yet I still take it short here uh, with the break and retest. So some of these trades, you have to use your experience and your intuition and whether or not you firmly believe it's a good setup. So that's a good example there. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple more here, maybe one more. Um, wait for the power entry on this one. We sweep on 5.11. Let's just blow it up and see. Okay, um, let's see here. We come down, we're waiting up. Okay, so it looks to me like if you look at this trade here, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, what is this? Five, let's just zoom in on this one here. This is a good one here, 511. So we're already back that far. Let's go back over to it and go over the importance of waiting for a power bar uh, on a particular setup. So here it is. Let's zoom into this. All right, so. Nothing wrong with this trade here. I had a level at the open marked right here. What happened was price came down. I was waiting for a push up. We had these two bars right here that did push up. However, it wasn't, it depends on what you really consider a power push. If you were patient and waited here, later on, you got a power push right here. And then that would have been an easy win right there for me. So that's what I like to review. I really like to try to, and, and try to, engrave in my mind what a power push looks like to me and sometimes it's two big blue bars and sometimes it's one but i find that when you wait for that one large power bar the probability is a bit better I'm not saying the two bars won't work but generally speaking you're waiting for that power bar so hope you guys enjoyed this little piece um, if i come back over to my journal I can load up here, uh, for example, today's um, trade. And if I just load this up here, this is an actual, uh, nope, this is an actual video right here. So you can see I'm videoing my trades. If I load this up here, it'll take a second and there it is. This is an actual Quick video recap. playing in the background uh, here. Um, this is great for kind of reassessing the day, reanalyzing your trades and making yourself a better trader. So hope you guys enjoy this piece. Again, I don't normally share my um, trading journal. But um, yeah, this is how I make myself a better trader, guys. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. That explains my NAS 100 system. Now I understand you may have further questions. If you do, I do have a free telegram that you can join. The link should be somewhere in the, in the uh, description. And in that telegram, I'm sharing my morning analysis. I'm very active there posting videos daily, showing my setups and what I am doing as a trader here. So again, thanks for watching. Um, go ahead and comment below if you feel you need to ask a question or you can simply join my free telegram. So we'll see you guys soon. Thanks again.